Good evening, welcome to my vlog. This evening I am on the Morven Hills um, and I'm now on the um, British camp which is otherwise known as the Herefordshire Beacon. I'm hoping to get a nice sunset but uh, it's gone very cloudy um, but there's a slight gap on the horizon so hopefully you should get some nice light tonight. So we've got about an hour or two before sunset I think so I'm just sitting down and relaxing, just waiting for the sun. Have a look what I'm looking at now. Okay, that's the the Malvern Hills, um, looking north. Um, towards the Worcestershire Beacon. Right, this evening I've got two choices that I thought I might take. Um, I did originally want to just use one lens, um, which is 70 to 300 lens, and try and get a picture of the Malvern Hills um, from British Camp to get the entire range in there. But there's also another shot up the top of British Camp um, where there's some cobbled paving stones and they look absolutely stunning so I want to try and get it there and maybe get a, a close-up low-down shot um, with the light hitting the Mulvans in the background. Right, there we go, up the top. Right, over there you can see that is British Camp and I'll be walking up there in a minute. Um, but it's a bit windy and the last um, video I put up, you could hear a lot of wind noise, so um, the mufflers don't be, seem to be working that great, so I'm uh, going to try and talk out of the wind if I can, so you can hear me. Well, this is my second vlog, um, so if you haven't seen my first one, please have a look. It was a bit of fun to make, and um, I've had a bit of constructive feedback from it. Some people haven't got any negative feedback so far, which is great, but... Um, one of the comments was, try not to walk and talk because I'm not the fittest person around and I seem to be out of breath when I'm trying to talk and you can't hear. So I'm going to try and sit still and talk to you rather than doing it when I'm walking. And the second one is to try and be a bit more technical if I can and talk to you more about the exact settings I'm using on the camera. Um, and try and give a bit more tutorial than just showing you how I do things. So we'll see how it goes. As I said it was a bit windy um, just over the hill so hopefully you can hear me. Um, if you just look up a bit you can hopefully see that bit of band just to the horizon where hopefully there's there's no cloud at the moment and the sun should come through there so I'm hoping for a, some nice light this evening. Um, but other than that the, the clouds are rather rather thick and they're looking quite promising. As you can see the sun is starting to come out now. We've got about an hour or so before sunset. If you can hear me over the cows. Um, and the light is just getting beautiful now. So as soon as I've got at the top of the hill, I'm going to have a quick look round for my composition and then uh, I'll show you what I've got. Okay, well I've made it up to the top of the hill now and I'm at the path where I want to be. So I'll quickly show you behind what this looks like. The sun's in my eyes so I can't see if you can see, but this down here is the path and it leads up to the hills in the background and they're being lit up at the moment by the setting sun probably hear that playing in the background now um, so soon hopefully I want to get these grasses lit up by the light with the path leading in and the hills in the background
I've just put a two-stop neutral density graduated filter over the sky to try and darken the sky a bit, uh, to balance it with the foreground so you get nice even exposure throughout the image. Um, it's a Lee 0.6 um, hard graduated filter. Um, the hills slightly stick above the horizon, but other than that, it's quite flat, so it should get away with the hard graduated filter. We'll just see. Um, if the hills were any higher, then I'd go for a softer graduated filter, um, so it blends into the hills a bit more. Um, but as I say, it's quite flat on the horizon, so it should should be fine. Um, it was getting a bit windy at the top, and I don't think you'd be able to hear me very well. So, um, it seems to be a bit quieter here. It's um, quite windy, so the clouds are moving around quite a bit, and hopefully you get some more interest in the sky. Um, unfortunately, the, the sun has gone behind the clouds, so at the time I think I've got a bit of sun on the hills, um, and got a bit of movement in the grass and in the clouds. So. It should be a good shot. I'm quite happy with that. Um. I don't know how many other photos I'll be able to get this evening. Um, the clouds have pretty much gone above me now. Um, there's a few clouds over the hill still. Um, and behind me it's all in shade from the hills, so there isn't really any light here. Only over the side towards the hills. Um, so I might head back over there in a minute and get some photographs if I can. You can see the Malvern Reservoir behind me. Um, unfortunately, it's in shade at the moment, but that is a great place for sunrises, um, especially on the downs. Up there, maybe you can see it. Yeah, if you get up there, first thing in the morning, um, the sun rises from the horizon over the in the east behind me. Um, it lights up the the hills and this hill in particular, and it looks absolutely stunning. So, if you do come to Malvern, um, there are certain places that are good for sunsets and good for sunrises, and that one is a great sunrise shot. Okay, the clouds have come back now and I've moved on the other side of the hill, um, facing the, the hills now, and you might just be able to see a bit of light up in the top corner there. Um, the sun is just about to come out, so I've put a two-stop neutral density graduated filter on again, and I've put the big stopper on this time, um, try and capture the clouds moving in the sky. And there's some beautiful colour being picked up, Let's see if I can get it. In these clouds, so hopefully, um, we'll get a nice shot there. I took a, a shot earlier without the big stopper, and it was f16 at half a second. And using my exposure calculator, it works out to be I think it's about eight and a half minutes, so it's quite a long exposure. So I'm trying not to touch the camera and make it move at all. Um, and we'll get hopefully a nice shot. Uh, the photo that I'm taking is, you can see this just above there is, um, is all these well, dugouts really. This is a, I think it's an Iron Age or Stone Age fort. Um, and there's lots of little trenches that go around the entire um, British camp. And it should make, should, ni should make some nice um, leading lines um, with the hills in the background. So I've just got to wait for the sun to come out and hopefully we'll get some nice light in there. The colour is just exploding now. I don't know if you can see the sun up there, but it's perfect. It's really shining through. The light then was absolutely amazing. Um, probably some of the strongest light I've seen for a long time. But uh, unfortunately, because I had the 10-stop 
um, big stopper on the the exposure was a bit too long so it was about 10 minute exposure and the sun was out for about three minutes so unfortunately looking at the back of the camera it didn't look too strong um, so I should have gone down to about f8 or something like that if I'd be able to capture that light for the whole of the exposure that would have been amazing but uh, well, we'll see. Put it on the computer and uh, go back now and have a cup of tea and see see what I've got.